It's the Save Train! And it's your conductor back, Mr. Save Lot, here with week six of March to 1500. Now, what is March to 1500, you might ask? Ah, it is our weekly save challenge. Now, of course, it's really 1378, but I think that you guys are going to find a way to get to $1,500 by the end of the year. So here we go. Mr. Distinguished Gentleman, back again for week six of the 52-week save challenge. Week six means $6. Five, or five and six. So $6 going into Mr. Distinguished Gentleman and going off towards my future, our future. Yeah, so let's get this thing out of the way. So week six, 52-week saving challenge is complete. I like to see you guys as jars. Go ahead and take some pictures and let us know that you are tracking along with us. Now, this week's MVP, I know you guys are waiting for this, is Miss Justina Jefferson. Now, of course, that is my younger sister, but I call her MVP this week because she is actually in college. And she is tracking along with us and keeping us all motivated to, go, go, to keep going on with this 52-week challenge. Now, if a young adult in college can do this, then I'm sure the older adults can do this. 52 weeks. Each week, according to the week, put in that amount of money in your saving container, a jar, a water bottle, piggy bank, whatever you got. And then by the end of the year, if you do this for 52 weeks, you'll have $1,378. Now, the reason why I said March to 1500 is because what I like for you to do is every time you get tempted, like I got tempted this week to go to the vending machine, and I was like, oh, if I only had 65 cents, I would have went. Because the funny thing about our vending machines at work, they don't take dollars for some reason, so that actually helps me. But I didn't have 65 cents, but I really wanted those cheeses bad. So I would have put that 65 cents into my jar because I was tempted. I, 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 I probably would have would have fell in if it wasn't for that uh for them not taking a dollar but 65 cent went goes into the jar and if you do that every time and you pay yourself for overcoming your temptation i think that you'll have an, an additional 122 dollars to get you to 1500 dollars by the end of the year now on to the special event so i actually went shopping today got my groceries got everything ready to go for the salad challenge and I wanted to kind of share this with you guys for those that are struggling to save. Those that are saying, I just don't have it. I can't find it. I'm at, I, my, month, my money is longer than my month, whatever the case may be. So, just a couple examples of what you can do to save. And where I like for you to focus on get, finding your money, and I call it a treasure hunt, is to look at your everyday expenses. Now, for me, there's a couple of things that I like. I love yogurt. So, I like yogurt. I get it, and I'm just going to just keep on eating it every day or whatever. So I went to the store today. They had Greek yogurt on sale. Now, typically, Greek yogurt is about a dollar forty-nine a piece. Sometimes you can find them at Kroger, the local grocery store, ten for ten. Well, guys, I found this yogurt here, Greek yogurt, on sale, nine cents a piece. Nine cents a piece. I I don't know the the. Oh, there you go. Nine cents a piece. So I bought a case of them. A case is not just a dozen. A case is twenty-four. So I bought twenty-four. And my price on them for 24 nine cents a piece, two dollars and sixteen cents. So typically you would have paid two two dollars for two. Well, I got twenty-four for two dollars and sixteen cents. This is how I'm overcoming. This is how I'm winning with my finances. The other thing that I love, oatmeal. Man, I looked up the price at oatmeal at Waffle House is a dollar seventy-five. Of large is two dollars and 25 cents. Well, I got a box of oatmeal. Whatever. I got a box of oatmeal today for 99 cents on sale. 99 cents, a 10 pack. That means I paid nine, 10, 10 cents per pack. So why would I go to Waffle House and order some oatmeal when I can just make it at home? I just, you know, that's just what we do. We look for ways to save money because I'm saving not only just to save, I'm not doing it just to save. What I want you to think about is what are you planning to do with that fifteen hundred dollars? You know, maybe you got a down payment on a car that you wanna you wanna do. Maybe there's some debts you wanna pay off. Maybe you wanna put it like I'm doing. I'm I'm putting my money to invest so that my money can start paying me. But what do you wanna do with this fifteen hundred dollars? You gotta keep the big picture in mind. And each little step that we take 
is bringing us closer to the bigger picture. It's saying a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So thank you so much for tuning in to the Save Train. I want you guys to like this video and actually share this video. I tell you guys to invite people to the Save Train so they can learn some tips on what they can do to save money. Well, here's an easy way you can do it. All you got to do is just share this video and people will come. So if you're new to this video, if you see this video for the first time, just uh, look up the group Save Train in Facebook. And until I see you again, guys, let me do that again. All aboard!